Hey YouTube, so a welcome to my first crafting video and today I will be using some pot holders that I got from the dollar store and adding fabric decals to them using my Cricut Explorer 2. Then I decided to attempt to do some embroidery. Now keep in mind this is my first attempt at embroidery and though it's not perfect I think I did a good job for a very first attempt you know so first things first we are gonna head over to design space and get our letters together now, I'm using F for the first letter of my last name so we will be getting the size uh, the shape and the font and then heading over to the cutting mat to cut it out so I am using my purple strong grip mat it is a filthy old mat but you know what it still works it still works so why not use it I am using a scrap piece of fabric that I used to cut out some ducks a little bit ago. It has heat and bond on the back as you can see it's kind of shiny so I am just sticking it on the mat to you know make sure it doesn't lift as the machine cuts it. Just scoop that piece of fabric up. I've got my F's. They aren't perfect but they're pretty good. They're pretty good for a first attempt um, and using an old mat. Keep that in mind. My mat is old and you know how there are all the hacks about cleaning them and scrubbing them. I don't do that. I usually just buy a new mat once my mat is done. But this one is not quite done yet. So I've got my F's. just to see how they look, how I want them positioned. All right, so now that I've got them on there and they look somewhat even, you know, I'm kind of just moving around a little bit, get it somewhat even, I'm going to break out my makeshift desk ironing board. And I'm just gonna iron those down. And you know, you just, Press them with your iron and your heat and bond does its job. It adheres to whatever surface you're trying to get it to adhere to. And that's pretty much it. Very simple. I just love how simple this is <laughs> you know I usually when there's tons of steps to take I screw up somewhere and I've got to start over so I just you know put my iron down and just let it do its job yeah so the first thing I noticed as I was you know adhering these letters to the pot holders is that one is right side up and one is upside down so yeah I did that <laughs> So to finish things up, I went ahead and embroidered the F using a open presser foot and it's super wide so you can see exactly where your needle is hitting on the fabric. I used the zigzag stitch and here is the finished product and again, it's
it's kind of janky because it is my first try but thank goodness I use dollar store pot holders where I can try again without wasting a ton of money so thank you for watching and please come back 